July the 28th, 2020. My thoughts today on the message of the cross. The Holy Scripture says the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. These thoughts came to me today about the message of the cross. When our Lord was on the cross and he commended his spirit to the Father, before he died, he prayed for his people that he loved, that he was dying for. Up into his last breaths, he prayed, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. He prayed for his enemies, that they would be saved, those who were persecuting him, those who were killing him. He prayed, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And I asked the Lord today, please, when my time comes and I'm dying, that I would be like our Lord and pray up into my last breaths, and that I would pray for my loved ones, whether they're loved ones who are lost, that I would continue to pray for them up into the last moments of my life or anyone that's difficult that I love, that I would continue to pray for them, that I would be like Jesus and pray for my family and my loved ones. And of course, our Lord was praying for those who were persecuting him. And should I suffer persecution at the time of death, I want to be able to have the loving heart of our Lord and pray like our Lord. So the message of the cross, we know that our Lord did come to die for us on the cross to save us of our sins. He sacrificed himself for us, the perfect, pure Lamb of God. And these messages we've heard, but as I was meditating on the scripture today, the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. I received a message that our Lord, while he was dying, was praying. There's a scripture that says, pray without ceasing. Orar sin cesar. So we don't stop praying. So our Lord sets the example for us. And on the cross, I get a message that when we take up our cross and follow him, when I'm at, some say, death's door, I want to be able to have faith and pray and commune, communicate with God the Father. I want to commit my spirit into my Father's hands, my Father in heaven. I want to pray for anyone that's lost. And I want to be forgiving when I'm taking up my cross. The cross was the means, or one might say the, the method by which our Lord was 
well killed, they killed him on the cross. So when, but it was the way in which he died. He was 33 years old and 33 year old healthy Lord and Savior. He died by being uh, persecuted, uh, whipped with the cat of nine tails. Um, and then he hung on a cross, which was a horrible way of dying. And unless the Lord comes before I die, I know there there will be a, a time to die. And whatever means that is, they don't crucify people now in America, but by whatever means I may, whatever cross I may have that is the way I'll die, which I don't know what that will be. I want to be able to be like Jesus Christ. And I don't know how that would be without the grace from God to do that. To be, I want to be able to pray up until my last breaths. I want to be close to the Father, asking the Lord to receive me, asking Father God to receive my, my spirit and praying for my loved ones and thinking of others and being forgiving that I might be forgiven. The message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing. But to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. The power. And when we pray the Lord's Prayer, we pray, Thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory now and forever. Amen.